断り獅子軍人Onmyoji Arena The latest MOBA to be released on Android and iOS as far as I know and it's so much fun. The game is developed by Natties, which is the same company that made Rules of Survival and Knives Out among other games. And uh, yeah, they uh, they made some really great games so far. This game may be the best thing they've ever done, honestly. The game is a 5v5 mobile like Mobile Legends. You may find some similarities in heroes and other stuff. Like this ice hero here. Trust me, it doesn't play like Mobile Legends. It's it's way, way better. It's a really, really fun, well developed develop? Well made game on phone. That's really rare to see nowadays. Of course, it's a free-to-play game, so it's gonna contain microtransactions, but that's not gonna stop you. There's no pay to win in this game as far as I know. And it just looks amazing. I mean just take a look at these shots. You can really see that the developers of this game really cares about how the game looks and how it plays. It's really really smooth, even if you don't have it on the high frame rate mode, it still looks really nice. I actually had my game on the lowest settings for this gameplay, but with the high frame rate mode on because I just really like it so much. And you can see that the game really looks great, it's quite astonishing how you can have a game that looks this good on your phone. There's a lot of small things the developers implemented in the game that really changes your view on the game. It makes it look more alive. Like this, for example. The bush is not a static object, and that really improves my immersion in the game itself. It's not as colorful as Mobile Legends, which I like. I don't really like the colorful, almost toy-like aesthetic that Mobile Legends has. I mean, it's a nice looking game, but I like the aesthetics of Arena of Valor more. I said this when the game came out. This game, I like way more though. It's not as dull as Arena of Valor is. It's a bit more colorful. But it's not as colorful as Mobile Legends, it has a more mature look to it, I guess, I wanna say. And it just looks amazing. And as I said, there's a lot of tiny details, which, I mean, I haven't... The game was released like two days ago, I haven't been able to spot everything. But I'm gonna play the game a lot and I'm gonna release a real review later on of this game. Because I, I really wanna showcase it to you guys, because I really enjoy the game myself. I've been playing it constantly for, for these two days and it's so much fun. Yeah, the graphic looks amazing even on low settings, but the sound quality is even better. Oh my god, the audio in this game, it's so good. There's three different settings for the main audio in the game. You can have it on English, which is for plebs. You can have it on Chinese, which is for Chinese people. And you can have it on Japanese, which is for the awesome people who, who, um, who are really cool. Like me, I'm not a nerd at all, please. <laughs> Don't say that. It, it, it's just so cool. And so refreshing to hear a game in Japanese. I like, it, it, maybe it's not refreshing for you, but for me, who've only played Mobile Legends for so much, it really makes a difference to have the Japanese voices. Honestly, I'm so tired of hearing Layla's constant whining in like every hero in Mobile Legends just saying the same thing all over again. In this game, though, it just... I don't know, it feels like an anime-ish. I, I know it sounds stupid. Because it... it yeah, it, it, it is really stupid. Like, honestly. But it just makes such a difference. I really enjoy it. It's so much fun. Listen to this. They have freaking Sasuke-kun in the game. Honestly! What? What is 
yes, this. I love this. Oh my god, it's so good. There's a lot of cool stuff in this game. It feels really balanced so far. I've tried different types of heroes. I've tried a uh, tank slash damage hero. I tried a mage, and I've tried support so far. And if you do your role like you're supposed to, then you can you can achieve a lot. Your team is really depending on you if you play a tank or a support class, which is really nice. And if you build the right items, like any other MOBA, and you use your abilities at the right time, you can really accomplish some really nice things. Right now I've been playing this hero a lot because he's he's a semi-tank, I guess he's a samurai slash tank. And as far as I know, samurais are like tanky warriors. Uh, yeah, I, I just like him a lot, he has some really nice damage abilities. I've also played this hero. Which is sort of like Aurora from Mobile Legends, but way better. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I just really enjoy the game. If you can't tell, I'm, I'm really glad. This is the first time in a long time that I'm actually having a lot of fun playing a MOBA. That says a lot. If you haven't tried this game out yet, you probably should. Even if you think it looks bad, just give it a try. It feels so great to play. Especially with the high frame rate mode on, which was released when the game first released, which is really cool. If you decide to try and try out the game, add me as a friend here. You can just scan this in your game and you add me as a friend. It's gonna be really simple and live streams and everything. Amazing, love that. And yeah, that's basically it for this video. As I said, I'm gonna have a more real review coming out soon as well. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Watch that, it's gonna be really awesome. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching, really hope you had a good time, and uh, yeah, as always, I'll catch you in the next one.